Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Michael Fitzpatrick, and for the past 20 years, I've had the opportunity to serve as the superintendent here at Blackstone Valley Regional Vocational Technical District. Uh, we traditionally share our budget, uh, both in this form and in a traditional print form, uh, and therefore the FY14 budget, which has been built over the past several months in open posted uh, meetings uh, with input from multiple players and multiple participants, including our director of technology, athletic director, principal, director of guidance and special education, and others, as we build uh, the budget. The budget is going to be displayed following my these hopefully brief introductory remarks, but I thank everyone for building the budget in the manner that they have, and I alert those who are about to examine the budget for its merit that this budget is an increase of 2.9%. Uh, we traditionally keep our budget very close uh, to that as a maximum, yet we do not sacrifice the quality of learning or the resources necessary to respond to the challenges and rigor of providing a quality workforce either directly or indirectly for those who entrust us with their students. This year's budget, as in the past, uh, resulted in the first product, uh, product would be the final product of the budget subcommittee uh, distributed to uh, some of our area communities who needed to have access to information because their warrants were closing or their finance committees were meeting in advance of the development of our final product. Subsequent to that, we actually uh, prepared and disseminated the final budget booklet, which is, is greater detail. One of the things that's unique about the Blackstone Valley District budget is an, it's all encompassing. It's a single request uh, consolidated that includes all legal, all postings, all insurances. Uh, it's what some refer to as like a matzo ball, but we don't isolate or separate or have additional warrant articles traditionally that are part of our request. This budget's been built on the governor's numbers because those are the only ones that were available at the time of this process. We will soon see with the House of Representatives and subsequent the, House, the Senate in Massachusetts act upon the governor's numbers. But if in the event there is a reduction, we will be expected to absorb that reduction just as our 13 member towns will have to make adjustments to their budgets in the event the state revenues do not materialize. As part of the budgetary process, we traditionally share an annual report. This is the uh, most recent annual report that's crafted and printed by our students. Uh, and it indicates the return on investment. And anyone who has interest in receiving any one of the three documents I've referenced would be glad to do so. One other aspect about the FY14 budget. Uh, responding to the request that we had last year in our presentations to finance committees in several communities, we built in a $2.9 million debt plan to add three new vocational technical programs to reduce the exposure uh, of the out-of-district tuition costs and transportation for students. When we subsequently discovered that some of our towns uh, ran into complications in their scheduled meetings to comply with the state rules on our debt plan, we, the school committee subsequently and more recently voted to delay that debt uh, for a year and uh, uh, to give the towns a greater opportunity to comply and to dovetail with their schedules. Uh, Blackstone Valley Tech is the school system that paid for its own roof without asking its communities for debt. It is a school district that uh, is gradually constructing its own athletic fields just down the road on land that was gifted to us. It is a school system that is currently constructing two science labs without request for additional funding from, from, from our member communities. We would ask that when the time comes, that we, we actually reveal and request the $2.9 million debt a year from now, that our communities look at the cost savings associated with the avoidance of out-of-district tuitions, look at the merits, look at the, act, look at the fact that we unfortunately have to say no to hundreds of students who are applying to come to our school because of the limited programs, the safety ratios, the state rules and the collective bargaining rules relative to ratios of students to staff. This debt program uh, will help us respond to some of those challenges, but it will only do so if we can convince the taxpayers of its merit a year from now. At this point, we have re distributed our budget for operational budget across our 13 towns. We are engaged in multiple presentations at either the select persons or uh, finance committees or other public hearings, uh, settings across our 13 towns. We have enjoyed uh, the confidence of the, of the people that we represent. Uh, the school committee has challenged our team. 
We are blessed with teachers and staff members who care about students, want to make a difference in preparing them for the future workforce, and we can only continue to do so if we will support our budget across the 13 towns. Each town is asked to make a contribution. It is matched by the contribution of the other 12 communities, and it is matched further by the state money, by, by aggressive revenue, by our, our students and their fundraising, and of course uh, by uh, grant pursuits. We thank you for the confidence you've displayed in the past, and again reach, reach out to you to support us for FY14. Thank you very much.